friends, it's Wiki Wednesday here in Pupper Pie Land, and we'll be talking about another swimming animal this week, the penguin. Wait, aren't penguins birds? Don't birds fly, not swim? Mommy, are you trying to trick little pinecone? I guess we'll find out together. Find the link for Kittle, the kids encyclopedia, below. Penguin facts for kids. Penguins are seabirds in the family Spanicidae. They use their wings to fly underwater, but they cannot fly in the air. I see what you did there, Kittle. You tried to fool me, but I'm too smart for you. They are seabirds, which eat fish and other seafood. Penguins live only in the southern hemisphere of the world, Antarctica, New Zealand, southern Australia, South Africa, and South America. The furthest north they get is the Galapagos Islands, where the cold Humboldt current flows past. Physical description. All penguins have a white belly and a large, mostly black back. Penguins cannot fly, but they can swim very well. Their wings have become stiff and small swimming flippers. They have good hearing and can see underwater. The white and black colors are for camouflage to help them hide when they swim. I have white on my belly and my camouflage too. So when a predator looking from underwater sees the white belly and wings of the penguin, they cannot see it well with the light coming from above. Seen from above, the penguin's black back bent blends in with the dark water. Penguins have webbed feet used for paddling in the water. They cannot walk well, so they waddle. The biggest penguins stand nearly four feet tall and can weigh almost 100 pounds. The smallest kinds are only about one foot tall. Penguins have a thick layer of blubber that helps them keep warm, and their feathers are very tightly packed to make another cover. They also have a layer of woolly down under the feathers that are coated with a type of oil that makes them waterproof. Life. Most penguins lay two eggs per year, but emperor penguins lay only one. After the penguins mate, the mother lays her egg or eggs and soon goes into the ocean to eat. The father and mother take turns keeping the eggs warm and care of the chicks after they hatch. The parent on baby duty has nothing to eat. The time one parent is alone with the eggs or chicks and going hungry may be weeks or months, depending on what kind of penguin they are. Months without food? Wow, they must really love their babies. I don't make my puppy parents go hungry, but I wish they would share that tasty people food with me. Diet. Penguins eat krill, fish, squid, and other small animals from the ocean, which they catch. They're at home in the ocean. They come up on land or ice to lay their eggs and raise their chicks. They don't eat there because they live in places where the land has no food for them. In most species, the birds all nest together in a huge group called a rookery. They usually make nests on the ground with rocks or mud. Penguins cannot taste fish. It doesn't matter to them because they swallow the, the fish whole without chewing. Mommy says I do this with my treaties, but I can tell you that they are super tasty. Different kinds of penguin. There are 16 to 20 living species or types of penguins. The white flipper penguin is today generally considered a subspecies of the little penguin. It is still unclear if the royal penguin is a subspecies of the macaroni penguin. Scientists are also uncertain whether rock hopper penguins are one, two, or three species. Wow, penguins are interesting, and they are birds who fly through the water. I especially like how the mommy and daddy penguins both take turns caring for the babies, just like my puppy parents do. Mommy says penguins are my puppy uncle's favorite animal, but we all know that is only because he hasn't been able to meet me yet. How sad for both of us. Anyway, I hope you learned something about penguins today. Stay tuned next week for our last swimming animal and come back on Friction Friday for Chapter 2 in our story, Master Frisky by Clarence Hawks. Bye!